this is for the how to integrate the uh, any other identity pro service providers into the Okta. Okta, one of the identity provider which we are integrating into the service providers. Either SAP also we can integrate it or non-SAP applications, SAP applications or anything we can integrate for the SSO concept purpose here. So Okta will provide the multi-factor authentication. So which means with your fingerprint, we can log into the so our SAP systems are so means it will be authenticated. Okay. So here what we need to do, we need to go to the getting started to go to start to add your uh, service provider into identity provider here. Right. So here click on the add the app here. So create your app. Camel. 2.0 next okay app name suppose we are integrating the btp btp into octa we are integrating then if you have any logo you can display it click on the next button then in the btp side so you have the single sign on url so let's take the single sign on url here right so we have the single sign on url here so last time we generated the single sign on url from the btp otherwise so we can regenerate the single sign on URL as well here. Go to the here. So BTP. So from there, we can generate the single sign on URL. We can generate it here. So let me log into the BTP trial account. So go to the sub account level, sub account level, in the sub account level. So suppose in the sub account, all the security management, everything should be managed by the so one single place, right? We have the multiple sub accounts. In that case, go to the trust configuration option here. In the trust configuration, so there is a download SAML metadata. Download. SAML metadata, which we have to download it from the, so your BTP sub account level here, BTP sub account level, you need to download it here. Once you download and open it here, here in the, it is asking the few things here, single sign on URL here, single sign on URL, single sign on URL means, which is like a, so which you generated from the BTP. So which means single sign on URL means this is the one. So ACS, ACS, HTTPS post URL, we need to download it here, right? So here you need to check where it is exactly. So HTTPS post, this is the one. Yeah, ACS, so HTTP post. So this is the URL. So we need to take from this this page this xml file which you downloaded which you downloaded we need to take that one from here right and also sp entity id sp entity id means sp entity id means in the starting of the page here there is a entity id sp means service provider so normally service provider means so service providers we have to integrate into the identity providers here right so that one we have to take it out then we need to fill it here right so then, so relying state, so default relying state, it will take the default option. So name ID unspecified means other email ID. So how the users will log in just to make it unspecified here, or you can maintain here group value attributes, anything. So go to the next button. So here, so here you can just maintain the, this one. Click on the next button. Your app has been created here, the sign on methods. So here. So here the import option here, import option here. So here, how the users, which users you want to assign to the here, right? Which users assign to the here, you have the options like general, 
this is normally which we have done it now so then sign on option sign on options means here we have to download the metadata once you app created here you need to download the metadata you need to import into the btp side that option you need to import into the btp side here suppose you can go to the here just right click save as save as xml file so this is the btp metadata here this is the btp metadata here right this is the btp one so this is the octa one which we have to import into the their side we have to import it here users import import means import the users 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 creating the users so you want to import the means you have to assign the all the users to the here then you can import the users here right you want to so like that you have to use a selection here so definitely you need to assign to the users here right so then add the assign the people here so here we have the number of people right so i am i am assigning this app to the all the people here right all the people so whoever required this access so then i am assigning to the all the people here so all the people they will get the app in their dashboard here right i have assigned all those things i have assigned here so done once you've done it here click on the done button here all user selections you have done done here right so then that's it so it's it is that's it for octa side here then log into the btp trial account here then add the new saml provider here click on the apple all right so then the metadata you need to upload from here the new name new name is called the suppose like btp2 octa something like that you can mention description anything here link text to the users login when the users are logging what is the link should be opened what is the link should be displayed here that one we have to maintain here right so then here link text to the users login means here so maybe you can just mention for octa octa login for btp user something like that you can maintain the link text click on the save button right click on the save button here so the that's you have done it now so now once you've done it here uh, uh, definitely roles you have to assign it so then go to the here go to the here so just to open the any one of the app here any one of the app so then you will get the so uh, option here so welcome welcome here so then you have the this is this two this is the click here for octa users this is the default identity provider who are having the access deep sap s user id qd and this is the btp users here so just we created just click on this button it will navigate you through app the app here then you can just provide the user id and password one time first time if you are going with you need to reset all those things just select the push notification there is a notification will come to the your mobile i got it so then you verify your identity once done then it will be you will be signing single sign on into the your space here all right application is getting opened so i've not entered any passwords or anything just application got opened here sir we are getting the access denied errors means yes why because here only you created the users but not assigned any authorization here right so default identity provider you created the user but not assigned any roles anything here right empty so your roles for each and every identity provider you need to create the roles we have to assign user has to be created then we have to assign that roles to the so respective user we have to assign it here right then only users can able to access the the related application so suppose you have multiple identity providers and then each and every identity provider you need to create a user then we have to assign the roles as well roles also we have to add it here that's what we have it done now here so now if you access it here you will be able to open you will be authenticated but you at last it will say like you are not authorized person you are not the authorized person like that you will get see here now it is authenticated automatically so now you got the yeah now we got the uh, so bt bass so so bass studio then we can create the space we can work on that areas as well right so this is the so identity provider integration part this is called the identity provider if you open the any app in once you've done it if you open any app here 
then it will authenticated it will authenticated here it will be authenticated through your portal only suppose like take this one then open in any one of the uh, any any browser mode you can if you open it here what will happen any browser mode it will happen it will ask the login screen here like any any login you can use it so like you click here to after login then it will ask the uh, how you want to now you want to log in with the code you want to verify or you want to push the notification just push the notification uh, i got it again yes verify your identity as done so i see here automatically it is getting logged in now automatically it's getting logged in now so it means sso is working here sso is working here so what we have done is now so we have integrated we have integrated one of the service provider into here service provider service providers means all our sap systems non sap systems btp all will come why because akta is the one of the identity provider akta is one of the identity provider here akta is one of the identity provider here identity provider here so central you same as like ad how we have the ad ad management akta here so here service providers which means so btp and sap so non sap applications or anything so you can integrate into the akta here not only btp per btp sap non sap also we can integrate it here sap and non sap also we can integrate to the here sap non sap also we can integrate to the here so here all users management can be done by from here so that if you log in, it will ask the Okta password. Then just we can verify it automatically. It will be authenticated. So this is called the service provider. This is called the identity provider here. So to perform this configuration, what we have done it now. So what we have done, we have just added the, we have BTP side, BTP side, trust sub account level, go to the trust configuration, go to the trust configuration. So then there, download the saml metadata download saml metadata you can download the saml metadata once you download the saml metadata here some trust configuration download the saml metadata so just open the metadata from that metadata what we need is we need the sp entity id and acs https points so these two things we required from the here right so these two things one is the entity id the second one is the so this one http post this one http post this this url we required right for sign up then this we have to maintain in the octa side octa side we have to maintain this thing in the here right once you maintain in the octa side so then once you maintain in the octa side here so then then after that uh, download the metadata from the octa then octa's octa side we have to download it then from octa sap sap or anything download from here we have to import to here here we have to download we have to import it. both the side handshake should work once you both the side you import is then btp said assign the roles whatever we have done it then uh then you can able to access the application now fingerprint authentication will ask in the mobile just to verify it automatically you will be signing into the your respective thing here right this is what you have to do it okay this is what we have to do it here. Got it right? So this is the one. It's clear? Sir, how to integrate AD accounts into Okta? Same way you can do. Same, same like uh, while here, suppose if you have the accounts in the AD, AD accounts you have. So while app creation, there is an option here. So import, import or there is import if you have the multiple users in the system just you can import the users otherwise here if you go to the uh, there is a security option here right in the security option you can see the identity providers right so identity providers you have the option then otherwise there is a administrators so here it will ask the so role or resources admins admin so you can add the admin not here so there is a identity providers add identity provider so this one another identity provider we can add it to the here i think so azure amazon 
so apple google identity provider link will facebook right so the many number of identity providers, SAML identity providers, PayPal IDP. So number of identity providers, Microsoft, Microsoft identity providers, right? So number of identity providers, we can add it to the here means. So their identity provider also we can integrate to the here. This is also one of the identity provider and another identity provider also we can integrate it here so that all their users will come to the in this list. So here also they can manage it here. So apart from that, while creating the app, while creating the app, you will get the option like import the users from, while creating the app, you will get the one option. So there also, so we can do that one. While adding, you will get the one option like, so import the users here. Go to the here, getting here. So add users, add users. So add import from, so ADS, add active directory. LDAP import from CSV file or add the user directly. So which option you want to choose it. So suppose you have the AD, ADFS, you have the user active directory. Then just click on the active directory. Then add the active directory first of all here. So there is active directory related things we need to clearly check. Set up the active directory. So the agent. So some, some basic things we need to prepare it. Once you've done it here then all users will come into the, in this list here. You don't need to manually create it here. That's the reason. Okay. Import the users actively. Yeah, that is what we have to perform it. Once the user is authenticated, whatever the users you have done it here, all users, whatever the users are active, it says that active. So whoever not reset the password or initial basic authentic basic things are not profiled pending for a user action like that, you will get the emails you will get to the basically that you will get the emails and everything here right so this is what we have to do it as part of this configuration okay got it this is the so octa side configurations